Okay, I'm just going to uh, tune down here. the middle finger on the second fret of the first string. And that's my D chord. And then my G chord is without the uh, is a regular G chord without the um, without the sixth string G note and without the first string G note. I'm adding the the D on the on the uh, second string. <laughs> And then as a substitute for that D, or for that G chord, I play on the fifth fret, the sixth and fifth strings. a B minor, which I play as an A minor unbarred, up on the third fret I have my, uh, I have my index finger on the third fret of the second string, I have my middle finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and my ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Now you can also add your pinky. seventh, I drop and play with my index finger the first string of the first fret of the second string. And sometimes to get tricky, I will add the, the um, third fret of the first string. That is an F note, and an F played with a D chord with a D seventh is a minor seventh, so that's D minor seventh now. And then you will also hear me play a C bass. string, third fret, and coming off to open 
on the on the fifth string, third fret and open, or walk down to the second fret, first fret, open, and then on the third fret of the sixth string. Kathy and uh, Joe playing pedal steel. We've got Kathy singing the song and Joe on pedal steel, which sounds a lot better than just me. I play the guitar. And I will give you that version, but I just wanted to key you in. And you can hear the guitar being picked and strummed. Uh, there's a little distortion that comes in. We didn't know what we were doing with the mic. But, um,. Otherwise, it's a it's a, uh, a good song. We love it. We play it every time we close before we go home. Just about because um, uh, Joe and I get to jam on it, and sometimes even Kathy does a little scat type stuff. It's pretty fun. Okay, so the object of the game is for you to listen and to do ear training and to um, develop your own means of when to play the seventh chord and uh, when to accent the singing with the seventh and um, with the minor for the D and uh, to hear when the B minor is played, first the G is played, and then it goes up to the B minor, and then again to the B minor, and then back to the G, and then to the D. <coughs> but first it goes from the D to the G. And uh, there's nothing really tricky about the song. Uh, it's a fairly simple song to play. But... Um, to jam on for Joe and for me, um, it's pretty fun. And um, I provide uh, a solid picking or strumming background for his pedal steel, and we get rocking. So that's the, uh, that's the idea. That's what you want to do. You want to provide some backup that's uh, got some syncopation, some, some real beat to it real swing to it for your lead man. All right? <laughs> 